Okay, friends, this video is about the BY-20. There's some things that I saw when I was playing with it that I think you're gonna wanna know. So let's just jump right in and take a look-see. First, let's start with connections. If you have two units, we have the BY and we have the VG. If you have two units, you're gonna need to connect them via ethernet cable with a splitter. A USB to ether ethernet won't work. Don't even bother trying. You need a splitter, let me show you. Here's the splitter. I have one cable going to my computer, one cable going to the BY, and one cable going to the VG3. This one's actually going to embroidery machines. Your printer comes with this quick access guide. This is the QR codes for downloading the software. For the BY, it's the utility and VersaWorks. You need both. Here, let me show you on the computer some of the connections and some of the things we need to do to get that white ink base going. Go to printer settings. See, we have both of our printers here. You'll need to verify. When the BY pops up, you'll need to hit verify and OK. That's essential. This is the IP address. Notice your VG3 and BY both say setup incomplete. It's because we don't have media set up. That's not abnormal. We want this to be set up properly. So on the BY, under utility, hit recover if it's in sleep mode. Then we need to hit setup and hit new media. You're only loading one media, which is film, so just hit OK. OK on the next screen. Now we'll set up that media just like you do on any Roland printer. This will come alive here in just a second. Now it's reading output possible and we're ready to print. Now let's set this art to print color and then white. I'm bringing in a PDF. Roland VersaWorks love PDFs, so just use it. Under settings, get media width and how many copies. I like a little space and then to center it. Uh, under quality, standard is sufficient as long as you design in 300 dpi and about the, the size you want to print. You have to select generic film dark. That's one of the steps that's going to allow you to use white ink. Now under mode, you must hit CMYK plus white. I do nothing in color adjustments as I have it set the way I created it as an RGB in 300 dpi. Nothing under file format or marks or printer controls. Uh, for cut controls, you just want print only. Nothing under job management, clip and tile, or variable data, but under special color, this is essential. You must click white and generate a special color plate. You can adjust the percentage, but I leave it at 100%, and you're ready to print. So normally I might use the, app, the, uh, the uh, powder applicator here, but I'm just gonna get a little bit of powder and just do a quick wipe over everything. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 140 seconds. So once that's done, it crystallizes, and you can tell it's crystallized because the ink, the powder doesn't fluff off anymore. That's really what you're looking for. Um, sometimes it has a little shine to it, uh, but that's on there. Now let's go put it on a shirt. So this isn't really a video on how to do direct to film. Um, it's more like just showing you these little techniques, but most importantly, really just to make sure you get the right white layer in, in VersaWorks and that you're connected the right way with the ethernet cable and the and the switch, if you try to go through USB, like I said, that could be a problem. But you know, direct to film super easy. Um, there's really not much to it. We're around 320 degrees here for about 15 seconds. Good pressure. Um, don't overthink it. If it, basically, if it didn't stick, you just need more pressure and more time. Um, one thing to note, however, is film does go bad over time. So don't buy a ton of film assuming that it's gonna last you a lifetime because it's not. I would give it maybe like a six month shelf life or something like that. Um, if you notice that things are washing out or flaking off, it's likely the film. Um, you have to kind of do a little deductive reasoning, like what has changed, what is different? Your printer's the same, the ink's the same. The only thing that could be a variable is the film. So yeah, we got a nice little uh, DTF on the sleeve here. We got also a nice DTF um, print with some embroidery around it. But anyway, quick solution, quick fix, easy stuff, direct to film, rolling BY20, Melco baby, you know what it is.